Intruder, identify yourself. Hello and welcome to the third episode of my push for the top 200. As always, we have a defense to start us out. Right now, this guy here uses a strategy I've seen before. I guess basically this golem is just for distracting my heroes and my defenses. And then he uses both his heroes to go in and destroy one air defense. I almost got the Archer Queen to go the wrong way, but no such luck this time. As you can see, my clan castle got lured out. Since it's witches and wizards, it's generally pretty good against heroes. As you'll see, the Archer Queen doesn't even stand a match for it, even with her special ability. Just one witch will actually take her out. Very slowly. That's just the combined fire from everything. And then several lightning spells to destroy my other air defense on the other side. This is the problem with having one upgrading air defense. I get air attacks from everyone. I'm thinking about finishing that, but I'm pretty close to done in the actual game right now. This is still but way behind. I may actually be done by the time you see this. So... I may not even need to worry about my air defense. Because now defense is actually a major thing for me. Because I'm winning so few trophies every six hours on offense. That I actually can lose more than I gain from a defense. Unless I find something better than a plus one. I'll speed up here a little bit. Just so you don't have to watch just two dragons go around picking off buildings. Not sure why they decided to pick off buildings in the back before tossing all of them in the front. I would have thought that he would go for the town hall and just deploy all the dragons in the front. Especially since I have only one expo up, all my air defense in the back. He's destroyed the two closest air defense to the town hall, and both my inferno towers are on multi-target. As you can see, I lost one star, and this is why, this one's going to show why defense is so major at higher trophies. This guy steals 13 trophies for one star, and he just found me a matchmaking. That means if he had gotten my town hall as well, then he would have taken 26 trophies from me. And I make maybe 40 every 6 hours. I mean, if someone even lower than him had found me, they could do an... Oh, he took 12, sorry. Uh, uh, the person after him took 13. Uh, and I could end up going maybe plus 5 for a full 6 hours if I take a really nasty 2-star two, two defense. At this point, I don't see many plus 10s or more anymore, so a plus 8 is really good. I was actually talking to someone from the family of clans that the person who attacked me is from over the Group Me app when I found this, and I pretty much went insane in the app because she was saying, oh, look at you, you're going to be stuck in clouds like me. And then as soon as she said that, I immediately got a plus 25 offer come up. I should have people say stuff like that to me more often. Maybe I'll get some better raids. As you can see, I do what I normally do. Lure out the witches and wizards, which is what's in almost every clan castle. And also the level 40 archer queen. When I want to move only the witches and wizards, I use my minion and when I want to move all of them, I use the Barbarian. As you can see, I got them all grouped up right there. I got the skeletons to walk back over them to backtrack. And leaving only the wizard with half health right there. And now I'm free to take care of the Archer Queen. Speed up a little bit because I actually lure her over there. Take her out over there. 
and use that rage to help me take her out. One clan castle full of minions will generally take out a level 40 archer queen. I like to use a rage as well so I have some minions left over. That's why I would do it in front of an air defense there. That way I can deploy it right after I deploy my balloons. And the archer queen's probably going to target one of the one of the balloons and take down one of the balloons. But overall losing one balloon shouldn't mean the difference between winning and losing your raid. I it's been a constant battle with all the videos I'm getting to have enough storage space for all of them, as you can see. But I'm constantly just dumping tons of videos just onto my computer desktop and trying to keep up with it just so I can record more. I love designs like this that allow me to take lots of free outside buildings. These southern teaser style bases are usually pretty good for the balloon minion strategy. You use the balloons and minions to take out the top, the sides, and at least one part of the bottom. And then if you don't hit 50% by doing that, you can always use your heroes to clean up this big open space. And as you can see, even though I've won, the farmer in me is still taking all of the gold that I can get. I'm still making decent gold. I can't keep my walls going, but I am able to upgrade cannons. That's what I've switched to since cannons aren't that important. Right up here we have Isa of Hogs of War. This is a fairly decent base to find. I like bases that have the little 2x2 two two compartments like that right there because as you saw I can use my balloons to destroy it's all four buildings in it. It works every time. Very efficient way to get rid of it. Although on the other one I won't be able to destroy all th for the buildings I'll only be able to destroy three since the dark elixir storage has too much health. Just doing my regular lure I'm very glad that he had level five wizards because they can be killed by one level six lightning but unfortunately I was extremely unlucky and only one of the like six strikes actually hit his wizards. Two strikes would normally kill them but no such luck for me. I also like the uh fairly free buildings like that dark elixir drill is free the resource collectors right below it aren't technically free because they're in range of the archer towers the, or archer tower rather the one right there oh apparently they aren't uh never mind about that looked like they were but anyways i uh, can't get the mortar without getting picked off by the archer tower but uh it's got low enough health that it would be a good percentage to take. I don't think I ever actually do take that. This raid was actually done a while ago for me. This was back around my 3500s, I guess. Late 3500s, early 3600s. This one was, of course, a very good find. That's all I'm showing. I don't want to bore you with all the plus ones and plus twos that I have to take. And as always, I'm going to go for the resources if that's, the, if that's a percentage I can get. Or if I've gotten the win already, I'll go for the resources after I've gotten the win. I probably didn't even need to deploy my clan castle because I still had my heroes, but I used up my clan castle just to get those resources. And then pop in my archer queen to clean up the last little bit of the resources. Kind of regret not deploying my barbarian king on the other side and cleaning up that last full gold storage for another 100,000. But, oh, 300,000 gold while pushing is good enough for me. Up next in our final raid, we have Yurif... Yeah, I'm not even going to try saying that. Whatever he calls himself. As you can see, I start off with a 
very failed lure. Then finally get the Archer Queen out. A little bit of lag there. And watch as I deploy, I think that's six or seven balloons, and I can't even take out an Archer Tower. That's a huge waste of balloons right there. This guy's Tesla really screwed with me. Because he had them all outside instead of in these open spots, so they would just randomly pop up while I was trying to do my raid and pick off buildings. Waste a lot of minions taking out a Tesla. I generally don't like attacking this base design, but obviously if it offers more than one trophy, I'm going to take it. And of course, another Tesla in the corner. Why am I not surprised? And witches and wizards, as always, in the clan castle. And of course, instead of going for the wizard tower, my balloons go for the cannon. Luckily, I have enough balloons to take care of it. Gonna be begin drawing out the CC troops there, so I can deal with them pretty soon. I'm not too worried about the CC, the clan castle, until later on in some raids, if I don't have to set it off before I start focusing on the area near it. I may even do like three quarters of my raid before even triggering the clan castle, and then I'll deal with it then. Because I just want to make sure I get all the percent I can without having to mess with heroes and clan castles before I start to mess with heroes and clan castles. Deploy my clan castle. Doesn't go as well as I would think it would go because air bomb. Just my luck. And. As you can see, I'm having an exceedingly difficult time getting my minions to target that archer tower. I'm still not worried because I have both my heroes and I'm at 47%. There's no real chance of me losing unless I accidentally forget to look at the top of my screen and run out of time. But it all works out. Then just deploy the last of my stuff and take it out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.